Hey guys, it's uh, 22nd of March, 2020. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, you know that we're in the middle of this coronavirus outbreak. Uh, it's different all over, so I just really want to point out how things are here. I'm in Portland, Oregon. Uh, as of today, there have been 161 confirmed cases of the uh, coronavirus and five confirmed deaths from it. Um, let's see, the governor's tossing around an idea about making a shelter in place or stay at home order that they haven't yet. As of today, haven't yet, anyhow. Uh, let's see, uh, toilet paper shortage. That's true here. Uh, the grocery store situation is actually pretty pretty wild. First of all, all businesses, uh, restaurants and bars, they're all closed. Only able to sell uh, via delivery or takeout. So some businesses just had to shut down entirely. Other places, you know, you can order it and have it sent out here with Uber Eats or whatever. Uh, grocery store, we figured there would be a mad rush on the grocery stores. So, last week, my girlfriend Jeannie ordered our groceries online uh, through our local Safeway supermarket and set up a time and date for this past Saturday for us to pick it up at 5 p.m. And, uh, like I said, I ordered it last week. That way we're sure it would be set up, you know. And, well, it wasn't. <laughs> we thought it was, but like three o'clock on the on the day on Saturday they called and said hey we're not gonna be able to do it and the reason is they just didn't have the manpower to actually go through there and shop and, and get the stuff for us she asked him you know what's it look like and got kind of an ambiguous answer you know no toilet paper and stuff but everything else seems pretty fine so we're like okay well we're just gonna have to have to make it work right and it was actually pretty impressive because they they were they were just like bone dry on toilet paper paper towels that kind of thing but the regular groceries were in pretty good shape we managed to get everything that we needed in uh, a decent amount of time and the cool thing was everybody was being really decent you know usually people are really rude in there and uh, cutting you off and standing in the middle of the aisles and shit like that and this time when we were there at least our local one everybody was being real civil and uh, calm there wasn't a lot, any chaos I was gonna say not a lot of chaos but there was no chaos nobody was making a mad rush for anything also our local uh, Safeway was just jam-packed with meat of all kind I mean big like holiday dinner turkeys and ribs and just uh, steaks everything they just packed on meat, which I thought was interesting. Um, see, the uh, produce area was, was good. Everything was good. They seem to be running pretty much the same. I noticed the whole butcher area was closed. They, I guess they weren't handling any meat, uh, but they have plenty of prepackaged meat. And that's here in, in our local store. Um, like I said, it's the 22nd. That's Sunday which naturally means tomorrow's Monday. So, kind of wondering how the next week is going to go. And uh, just everybody, be smart, be safe, try to keep yourself clean, stay away from other people. I know you heard the flatten the curve thing. And uh, that's, that's important because, you know, the thing is you can go like two weeks without exhibiting symptoms. And in that two weeks, like if you pick it up in that two weeks, you can transfer it to dozens of other people. And, you know, who are they going to transfer it to? So if you stay away from people, that's what the flattening the curve thing means. You know what I mean? We really, really slow the progression of it that way by isolating. And I'm kind of hoping that we will here that we have to isolate just because of that I wanna I wanna catch up and get this eradicated we don't want it to turn into like it did over in Italy here you know what I mean I mean they're on lockdown but 
you know, maybe it came a little bit late. So, that's my take on things on the CV-19 coronavirus that we're going through right now. And, uh, like I said, everybody stay safe, stay clean, and be cool to each other out there. And we'll catch you later. Oh, yeah, too, before I go, feel free to uh, drop some info in the co comments down there about how things are going on, where you're at. You know, let me know where you're at. How's it going out there? What's the freaking grocery situation look like out there and how are people acting you know give me some info about where you're at and how it's going and uh, now I'm gonna cut out for real so like I said be cool to each other out there and take it easy and we'll catch up with you later